now is a huge focus for us here in San Diego, where fire season is year-round. My next guest, Sandra Lee Baldwin, wrote a book called Designing with Succulents. She had to evacuate during the 2007 wildfires, but let's start with Camille Newton, who lives in the Bonzel area and says succulents saved her home just last week during the wildfire. Ladies, thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate your time this morning. Uh, Dr. Newton, let's start with you. You live in Bonzel. Uh, set the stage. What happened last Thursday? Did you get a call were you, or were you home at the time? We smelled smoke in the morning, and uh, my husband quickly went to my son's school, which is two miles away, picked up our son. The fire was very close to his school, Bonzo High School, mm -hmm. and um, started the evacuation process with the horses. I started heading back to try to help move the horse that I had at home. By that time, a neighbor called me and told me that our house had burned down. Um, uh, we didn't find out until hours later that our house was actually still standing. Um, but it goes to show just how close the fire was, that neighbors were thinking yep. they've lost their home and all of this. And we saw in the video all the palm trees on fire. It takes one ember, all of a sudden the house yep. is on fire. Tell me about the landscaping you have and why you think your home may have been saved. Well... We had houses, two houses across the street from us burned down, and the fire traveled up our yard, just stopped at the succulents. Wow. So there is no doubt that the, the plants that you had there were able to provide a barrier around your home. Fantastic. Yeah. Deborah, let's bring you in on the conversation yeah. because you had to evacuate during the 2007 wildfire. Your home was yeah. saved during that fire. Well, no, that's, that's not quite right. I evacuated like so many other thousands of San Diegans did back in October of 07. But I already had a book out about succulents, and the garden on the cover of that book saved the house in Rancho Santa Fe from burning. Wow. Yeah, so this is, this is not brand new news. This is something that's actually been a possibility in terms of fire-wise landscaping uh, shown to be effective not only in Rancho Santa Fe and Bonsal, but Poway and other communities. So what should homeowners know? Because a lot of people let their yards go during yeah. the drought, and slowly yeah. but surely they're starting to piece their yards back together. Well, it, you know, it's wonderful, Heather, that succulents are so perfect for our drought climate because, by definition, they're plants that, that withstand periods of drought by storing water in fleshy leaves and stems. So right there, they're very water-wise. And they're beautiful, as you can see, they're geometric, they're colorful, they come in every size, from ground covers to tall trees. And frankly, the whole idea of being a, a fire barrier is sort of icing on the cake. But It's like the cherry, it's like the extra benefit in getting yeah, this all done. But how important to get the word out that this is one more, one more weapon in the arsenal that homeowners have if they live in a wildfire prone And at this point, area. it looks like most of us do well, here in San Diego seven, County. Yeah. yeah. So your book basically gives people ideas on basically how to yeah. aesthetically make it look nice. Exactly. Uh -huh. Fantastic. Because yeah. I always think succulents, and I'm starting to get educated in this too, uh -huh. I don't really want all cactus in my front no, yard. No, no, no. Don't think, don't immediately go to cactus. <laughs> <laughs> cactus is just a very small segment of the vast part of horticulture that are succulents. Uh, spines are not a bad thing. They're good for security and they're beautiful. They glow nicely when backlit, but there are numerous, numerous soft leaf succulents. Okay, so don't just think I'm going to have all these prickly plants in my, no, my yard. That no, is not what we're doing, do you? Don't worry. <laughs> Where can folks find your book? Well, go to my website, DebraLeeBaldwin.com, and just click on the cover. Fantastic. All right. Sold. Sounds great. Uh, Camille, thank you so much for coming in and for sharing your story. And I'm so glad that your property is safe and obviously thank your family you. and animals, too. All right. Thanks, Michelle. Let's get back over to you.